Hello Pisces, it's March 2024, Dodici here with your forecast. I'm going to get the wheel moving here and the first thing that jumps out in the foreground here in your sun sign is this massive cluster of Saturn, Sun, Mercury, Neptune in, in this most personal area. Now that shows us that you have so many options. Options aren't the problem, the problem is the choice of which option and I think this month you're going to be pleased to note that as we investigate the transit of the moon here that you see in the upper part of the horoscope in the first few days of the month um, that this is going to signify some grand new opportunities for you up to the fourth you'll see that your work is challenging a little bit a little bit of confusion there with the square from the moon to Neptune as it passes into the 11th house then forming a nice sudden supportive aspect to Uranus in the 11th house of friendship so <clears throat> some unexpected news some unexpected invitations are likely to happen and there we see it's a double whammy there with Jupiter also involved something that can benefit you that's followed up with this transit of Pluto in your 12th house which is a little bit aggravating because there's a combined influence of Pluto and Mars both of these planets are friendly ruling your ninth house and so this is a spiritual uh, domain here in which you may prefer a little bit of quiet time up till around the 10th of March when the moon passes over, uh, first passes over Venus and then on the 10th, well actually the 9th, then it moves into your sun sign uh, and on the 10th, which is what I'm trying to get at, this new moon here. So the options intensify the new moon can show clarity and an opportunity for you to develop some new line of thought or some new aspect of self-empowerment really because this first house has everything to do with who you are as a person. We notice that confidence can carry over with this transit of Mercury around the same date as that new moon into your second zone of finance income and there we know it slow st long-standing um, Rahu the north node giving great desire for financial independence the moon has some challenging aspects here as it makes contact with Uranus and squares Mars that's a little bit disruptive your mind could be edgy you could be uptight you need to bring some measure of control and calmness that's the job of Venus here around the 15th, 16th, as it moves into your sun sign. These two planets are not particularly <coughs> helpful for your health. Venus rules your 8th house, Saturn co-rules the 12th house, disposing of Pluto and Mars. So this can present some problems, especially here in the area dominated by Pisces, which is your feet. So that part of your body, the lower, the lower extremities of your body, maybe um, something to watch out for at that time. <clears throat> All of these planets are unsavory for the Pisces Ascendant and casting their influence on the seventh house, marital sector, <coughs> relationship sector, that can present some problems in terms of your communication, that type of thing. Here we see Mercury, the ruler of your seventh house, also undergoing some opposition and stressful combination with the nodes here. So this could be a trying period. Uh, fortunately, after the 20th, you'll see that Mercury moves away and indeed has the fortifying influence of the trine aspect of the moon as it moves into this seventh house. And I'm going to ask you to keep your eye on that because you've got a little bit of tension there with the opposition to Mars, <coughs> a bit of opposition, tension and transformative stuff going on with Pluto as it moves through the seventh house then and then making opposition to all of these other planets so this period here from around the 22nd to the 25th is problematic there we see the 25th a full moon taking place in your eighth house which is the house of intimacy shared resources it's an eclipse as well taking place on this nodal axis that you can see here so the full moon's energy is gobbled up by the by the nodes, but it still it 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 modulates those 
energies and still has a powerful influence. The moon will therefore act as an agent of these nodes and bring with it great desire, sometimes great stress as a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of new information is revealed, especially in your eighth house. Eighth house is the hidden house. It's the house of all those psychological problems. Little things can trigger you. And we can see also by the transit of Mars around the 24th, sorry, the 23rd into your sun sign, moving into that close conjunction with Saturn. This, this is a bit of a frustrating period, the last few days of the month, as far as your relationships are concerned. You need to take a few deep breaths, uh, remind yourself that uh, all things pass, even these transits, and that all's well that ends well. There's more on what's happening for you, Pisces. Follow the links. My faithful assistant, Kay, has put those links there to astrology.com.au to give you more insight, more information on the transits that are occurring for you throughout the month of March. Please do subscribe. That helps us. Please do drop me a line if you want to answer have an answer to a question um, or a personal reading I'm here and will make myself available for you don't forget to come back next month I'll be waiting for you good luck take care now